Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome in, welcome in. It is good to see all of you. And I appreciate you coming in. So, my co-host Michelle will be here shortly. And I'd like to go ahead and thank our members. We have a P Patreon member, and that would be Lorna Jones. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'd like to thank the members here at Froggy One and Knitting, Lorna Jones, Twisted V Twin Garage, OMG Granny Square, Lindsay Lizy. Candy Elsie, Sandra G. Crochet, Sparkles Hope Chest, Nana Michelle Crochets, Butterfly Dreams Crochets, uh, Christie's Creations, Linda Simpson, Sandra Chester, Minister of Music, Terrence Trower, Knitting Turnpike, Diane Jones, Steals Your So, Crochet and Chefs, Artfully Buying with Diana, Bonnie Got Knits and More, Shell Nidley Bits, Bouchine, The Perkins Life Forum, Miss Kingpin, and Politics as Usual. I'd like to thank each and every one of you for being a member here at Froggy One and Knitting. Your membership is greatly appreciated. Welcome in, Dodo. It's good to see you, Dodo. I really appreciate you being here. I hope you're having a blessed day. Hi, Diane. Welcome in. Welcome in. It's good to see you. She will be here shortly. She had a slight power outage, and her power is being restored as we speak. So, let's go ahead and get started with this day in history. Today is July 9th, and joining me is Shell. That was interesting. Yeah, you lost your power. Now, hold on a minute. Let me turn the volume up over on this side because it showed up. None of the chat showing up yet. Well, it'll there show we up momentarily. So yeah. Go ahead and do this day in history. July 9th, in 1877. Wimbledon tournament begins. In 1777, New York elects its first governor. In 1918, William Faulkner joins the Royal Air Force. In 1962, Bob Dylan records Blowing in the Wind. In 1916, Soviet Premier Khrushchev and President Eisenhower trade threats over Cuba. In 1996, a family is brutally attacked on a walk in England. In 1762, Catherine the Great assumes power. In 1993, Romanov remains identified using DNA. In 2000, Venus Williams wins the Wimbledon for the first time. Wow, that's awesome. In 1850, President Zachary Taylor dies unexpectedly. In 1971, the United States turns over responsibility for the DMZ. And that is the demilitarized zone. In 1846, the U.S. takes San Francisco from Mexico. In 1947, the first female army officer is appointed. Wonderful. In 1915, Germans surrender Southwest Africa to Union of South Africa. And in 1941, the Enigma key is broken. That is spectacular. And the word of the day is invocation. It is a noun. It is a, the origin is in French and Latin from the 14th century. It means the action of invoking something or someone for assistance or as an authority. An example in a sentence would be, Pastor Stanley gave an invocation at the beginning of his sermon. So awesome, awesome, awesome. So hey, let's welcome everyone in. So, welcome in, Minister of Music, Darren Strower. It's good to see you. It's so blessing to see you. And welcome in, Crystal Lynn. It is good to see you. Absolutely. And welcome in, Lorna. Lorna, you had a wonderful, wonderful live. I really appreciated it. And, oh, I'm so sorry you have a head cold. Me and too. I, I know that with the blood sugars. I've had that for a few days now. Welcome in, Candy. It's good to see you. And this is an opportunity for everyone to gather together their cotton yarn and their crochet hook they're going to be using. And in about 20 minutes, we'll start doing our tutorial. So we're going to sit and chit chat with you. We want to know your weather and we want to know what you've been working on and what's in your cup. Uh, coffee. You got coffee today. I got tea too. I had water and now I am having Diet Coke. Oh, you got coffee. 
I got coffee. I started the morning off with some water, and now I have Diet Coke. So, last night in Joe and Dana's live, Joe asked, what's the weirdest food combination you've ever eaten? And I think I, I, I won peanut butter and pickles, and I like peanut Ooh. butter and pickles. I'm full. I am full. Oh, oh 74 in, 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 in Coca-Cola. Lorna says, honey, lemon with a bit of brain. Yes, that's perfect when you have a cold. And on the outskirts of Chicago, it is 67 degrees. Working on her sanity and drinking some squirt. And here it is 82 degrees in Greenville, North Carolina. Well, Maribel says she is working and lurking. Absolutely, Maribel. That's good, Maribel. I do that you all the time. Thumbs up if you guys have it. I am always working and lurking. It is 74 degrees and raining here in the mountains of Virginia. And my high today is 80, which I don't know how it's going to hit 80 when it's raining like this. Well, it's going to hit 90 here. Wow. And yesterday we had your day because it did nothing but rain yesterday as Elsa went up the coast. And my backyard was flooded. And my one puppy's like, I'm not going out there. And the other one's like, ooh, rain. Yeah, it's still raining now. Yes. But it's just drizzling, so it's not that big of a deal. If it's it was heavy rain, you'd hear it, but it's, it's not. It's sunshine in today. Sweet pickle relish, sausage pizza, and brown mustard. Mm -hmm. I'm full. In New Jersey, it is 74 degrees and cloudy and water in her cup. It just starting to lush here. Can you read Dodo's comment for me? It's starting to lash to rain here, so don't have to water the fruit and veg. She's drinking coffee and working on Fiber Spider's third 3D stitch. I'm doing a blanket. Oh, that's wonderful, Dodo. That is. You're pregnant, Crystal. I hope not. Oh, that's what you grade when you were For pregnant. For her sanity, I'm hoping not. So, Michelle that's Wiley says, coffee in her cup, 63 and cloudy in central Indiana. Working on a top for herself and lurking. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, we always love when you make wearables. Absolutely. That must be what she craved when she was pregnant. Yeah, I think so. When I was pregnant with my oldest, I craved canned spaghetti because of the salt. Hold on a second. Oh, Diane is doing diamond painting. Cool. That's wonderful. Which one are you doing, Diane? I am I'm working on a diamond painting, too. It's called High Street Cats. And it's pretty cool. Oh. I've got one cat done. I love the diamond paintings. I think they're beautiful. For those of you who didn't see, let me move my coffee. Oh, look at the cow. I love the cow. Now, it's hanging on the wall like that because there was, there I was missing drills. And oh. the company is going to send me the drills I was missing. Oh, that's so, wonderful. I put it on the wall until I get the girls. I like the cow. I love the cow. It's really I like pretty. your cats too, though. Yeah. Um, I had to get that out. Where did I put it? Under everything, of course. Oh, no. uh. Now, it's a small one. It's Diamond Art Club, but I absolutely love it. And oh, your summer scene, cool. Oh, that's and wonderful. This is one that Noodley Bits showed me, and I absolutely love it. And you can see one of the cats is done. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I love the cats. So they're the high street cats. I really love those. 
I really do. Very Parisian, as you put it. Yes, very Parisian. And um, we had, this will go with one that we have on the, hey, Jane. Hi, we Jane. Already, we have Le Chat Noir. Yes. Which is very famous, the Black Cat. And we have that. It's, it's from a, it's a Parisian scene. And it's a famous French artist. But yeah, I just love this. This is what it'll look like when it's done. Oh, look at that. Wait a minute, I'm going to make it big. Oh, I love those. They're so cool. I really like it a lot. Is that by the artist that did Le Chat Noir? Um, they look like it. They do I don't look think like it is. I think it's a modern one, but it's a modern take on Le Chat Noir. It is. That is so cool. Somebody knows that I ordered um, dog treats. Oh. They're on the floor behind me. It's a wonder the other two aren't in front of the refrigerator. Well, one of them is. Aha. Uh -huh. I just wonder. Good morning, Hello, Helen. Helen. How are you? Oh, Helen's sneaking and listening at work. That's wonderful. It is a countdown. We got about 15 minutes and then we're going to start the tutorial. Oh, okay. get coffee in me first. Yes. Get together your uh, cotton yarn and your crochet hook that goes with your cotton yarn. So we're giving you plenty of time. I have my naughty kitty on today. Yes. No, I'm definitely not being sarcastic. I have my sad bunny who read a good book on. Oh, I had to wear my kitty. And hubby got me a jacket from work, which is so cool. And that's why it says GJH, which is GJ Hopkins. So, and I just realized my strings weren't even. Mm -hmm. So not bad for free jackets. I love. Need a little more coffee in my creamer. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I, sh I know better than to put my creamer in first because I always put too much in. But I was tickled pink to get a new jacket, so that was cool. Oh. Why not? Oh. It was free, why not? I think he pays like $2 a week out of his paycheck for uh, allowance or something. For so, now, has anyone gone to Michael's and got their grab bags? You know, when I go to mine, there are never any grab bags. Yeah, I, mine didn't have any either, but other people have definitely gotten them, and I want to know what's in them. I want to live for you guys. So any of you got any? Because I never have a chance to get any grab bags. I would love to. Mm hmm Because that would be uh, really awesome. Oh, I would absolutely love it. Oh, you're on the last section of the red and white blanket. Oh, that's wonderful, Crystal. Cool, Crystalline. Oh, that's awesome. How is Mater doing, Crystal? And I bet it's going to get hot down there in Texas. <laughs> Just a little bit. A wee bit. Just a tad. Hi. But I miss Texas so much. I love Texas. I would melt from the heat. But that's just me. I'm not a yeah. heat person. Texas and Arizona both were states where, you know, when I was a kid, air conditioning in your car was considered a luxury item. And most cars didn't come with it. You had to order it. Texas and Arizona both actually made it a necessity and all cars sold there when I was a kid had air conditioning in it. <laughs> Jane says it's hotter than hell. <laughs> yep. He'll be working till five today. Well, good. Well, you know, my aunt, when my uncle was stationed in Hawaii and uh, my aunt, you know, obviously my aunt and uncle cousin lived there. And uh, they were telling me 
about how the cars there did not come with heat. Uh -huh. I thought that was crazy. She's like, no, heat is optional. Yeah, because you don't need it. They didn't need the heat. I thought that was just the craziest thing I'd ever heard of. But every car came with air conditioning. Mm -hmm. I was like, wow. But their McDonald's served noodles. That didn't surprise me. Yeah, they had noodles in a cup. Well, the McDonald's in Japan serves rice balls. Yes. And some of them serve beer. Mm -hmm. Which is cool. Not here. Could you imagine if the McDonald's here served beer or sake? Please no. Please no. Wow. Yes, it would be surprised at the McDonald's in other parts of the world and what they serve. They serve no, many. No, 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 no. Yeah, they serve a lot of different stuff. Not here. No, ours are very traditional, but yeah. Ours barely serve food. What are you talking Yeah, that's about? true. I'm sorry. Did I say that out loud? Yes, yes. There are McDonald's that serve beer. That's correct. But not in the U.S. Say bad things like that. Not in the U.S. Though. Hi, Angela. Welcome in. So Many blessings to you, Angela. Well, this morning for breakfast, I had peanut butter on a bagel. I know. See, I like that. And it was really good. I like that. Well, you know, groceries are delivered this or this afternoon. And it's like, man, we haven't been this low on some things in a long time. But see, I like peanut butter on pancakes and peanut butter on waffles. Well, so, I'm not yeah. a big pancake fan. I love waffles, but pancakes just kind of sit in my stomach. Oh, I can understand that. Yeah, they taste good, but I'd rather eat a waffle or a French toast. Yeah. And you know, eggs. I'd rather eat my husband's pancakes than anyone else's. But I won't eat, the only way I'll eat eggs is scrambled. Missy, I like them scrambled and I like them fried, sunny side up. I hate them fried and I cannot stand that yolk. And yeah, I like a hot yolk, so I'm okay with that. No. But the white part has to be cooked. Mm -hmm. I don't like the slime, mm -hmm. which is what I call it. I mean, it might not be, but that's how I describe it. Yeah. I don't like it the other way because it just, ew. oh, see, I do too, Crystal. Yeah, I love peanut butter, peanut butter with apple butter too, or peanut yeah. butter with raspberry jam on a bagel is so good. And I ran out, I did like strawberry or blueberry cream cheese, and I ran out of it. Oh, my son liked it so much. He would make a peanut butter sandwich and microwave it. Hmm. Or put it in the toaster oven. Just well, because I like, to, like that melted peanut butter. Well, that's what I like it on toast and on a bagel. I like that melty peanut butter. That's what, yeah. My youngest liked that so much. And when I make uh, chocolate fudge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I put a big scoop of peanut butter in it. Wow, and that's yummy. It does. It it gets melty, and it you don't mix it in all the way. And what you do is when you bite it, you get like that squirt of peanut butter. And it yeah, because the Reese's cup. Yes. Oh. oh yeah, Crystal and apple butter is good all by itself. I love apple butter. We get apple butter from the Dunkards. Mm -hmm. Which are similar to your Mennonites. Well, and I get it from the Mennonites. Yeah, because, well, over here we have the Dunkards. And that's where I we get it. I grew up with, with the Dunkards. Yeah. For we those of you who don't know, the Dunkards are the Church of the Brethren. And, and they're, they're very close to the Mennonites. Um, you know, a lot of people think they're Amish. No. Because of the way they dress, and they're not. They're actually very close to Mennonites. No, and some of them work. Some of the women work, and they work at um, Hobby Lobby. Yeah, a lot of them do. Apple butter is like, an, you know how you make peanut butter from peanuts? 
apple butter is made from apples. It's, you know, apple pulp and some cinnamon usually and other things are in it. But cinnamon it's, just, nutmeg. it's a and spreadable, um, it's, it's basically spreadable apple paste. And yeah. it's so good. Yeah, the apples are cooked. Right. Um, and when you put the cinnamon and nutmeg in it, it kind of turns brown. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very good. It, it oh, gives you an apple cinnamon flavor. It, it's delicious. It's absolutely delicious. And you can put it, you put it on biscuits, you toast, everything. Yes, very it's much a like a puree. puree. It's a little bit thicker. Yeah, very much like that. Hi, Ivy. Hi, Ivy. Welcome in, hon. Yeah, it's really good. It Absolutely is. love it. I just love it, love it, love it. Sorry, I'm adding more coffee to my. Yeah. I'll get it right. Oh, we absolutely love apple butter. Oh, my gosh. I can't tell you how many jars we go through a year. I'd say one jar every two to three months. And see, I like anything like that. I love raspberry preserves. Now, I don't like any kind of peach preserves, jam, butter. Don't like apricots. Um, I like pear. Pear butter is good. Um, yeah. But you give me blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries. Oh, yum. Yeah, Michelle's all about the berry. I love berries. But I like the, the orange... No, I love orange, orange marmalade. Yes. Love it. Orange and I use it and make orange chicken. It's delicious. I absolutely love it. Mm hmm But, you know, mine is more blackberry and then, then the peach, the pear, the orange. Mm hmm And that's more my thing. Now, Joey loves strawberry. Now, I'm very strange, though. I will buy canned peaches. I will not mm -hmm. eat it. A fresh peach but I'll buy canned peaches and wash the syrup off of it and eat it now see I love peaches I'll eat them fresh or canned or done but I don't like them cooked so I don't like peach cobbler peach jam peach jelly I don't like any of that oh I love those they're delicious I can tear up some blackberry cobbler now yeah yeah that was dad's favorite and I love blackberry cobbler I could eat a whole one by myself, even though I shouldn't. <laughs> this is terrible. I can't. For some reason. I know, but I could. Something about it, it's just, oh, it's so good when well, it's like warm. You know, Ivy, I have heard that same thing, that beet jelly is very good. I don't like beets because, to me, beets taste like dirt. They do taste like dirt. I need to try beet jelly. If you don't like beets, but if you like beet jelly, I have to try that. Well, I don't like guava, but I like guava jelly. Yeah. Yeah. I don't like figs, but fig jelly is completely different, too. Yes, Dodo. Yes. Blackberries, are, they're in brambles. You know, they grow just like raspberries. Basically, they're black raspberries. Yes. And they are my favorite. I actually put them in my tea. I take frozen ones and put them in my tea instead of ice. But as you can tell, I ran out of those too. Yeah. They're good in your, in your water. Mm -hmm. They're real good They're in good water. my yogurt too, which I thought you were going to say. Yeah, well... I put them in my water. But my, my yogurt's good anyway. Because I make it homemade. Okay, Denise. Thank you for coming in. Oh, oh thank you. There you go, Ivy. How's that? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I felt the greens today. Yeah, Dodo. And when I make tea... It's half lemonade, half tea, and then I put frozen blackberries in it. So basically, I have blackberry lemon tea. Hi, Sam. 
Harry you know, Crystal, you know? Crystal, they make peach ketchup. Yeah, they do, and peach salsa. Now, I do like peach salsa. I like peach ketchup and peach salsa. I like both. I can have tomatoes as long as they're cooked. If they're raw, I cannot eat them. You know, the peach ketchup is really, really good with your sweet potato fries. I really like that. No, I haven't had that. Yeah, I really like that. I think it's really good. It's it's a good complement to sweet potato fries. So I like that. To me, it's like pureed peaches and then, you know, just smooth, thin pureed peaches and then you just dip your sweet potato fries in it. It's just delicious. No, I wouldn't like that. <laughs> no, you wouldn't because it's a peach. I wouldn't like that. <laughs> I really like that. That that's something I enjoy. But, but I can see the peach balancing out the spice and salsa. And I do like peach yeah. salsa. It does. But I like spicy salsa too. It it, uh, it really was really good with those. I had that with um we had spicy barbecue and then we had sweet potato fries with the peach ketchup. Now, I don't like candied sweet potatoes because it's just too much sweetness but i don't mind a sweet potato with just a little bit of salt no those are good too and butter and i like sweet potato fries with just a little bit of salt yes you know but i candied sweet potatoes they, they're not touching my plate no i wouldn't mind having a baked sweet potato with a little bit of butter and brown sugar on it. Well, the butter I like, the brown sugar, it's just, I don't like it on the sweet well, potato. I'm just saying a little bit on it. Yeah. But not over candied sweet potatoes because it's, it gets yeah. too much. You've never yeah, heard of peach ketchup. Much. Oh. Mm. It was delicious. It was absolutely delicious. Loved it. I really did. It was a good compliment to the sweet potato fries. It wasn't overly sweet either. Oh, yes. Love sweet potatoes. Love sweet potato pie. Absolutely. I like it because it's not a super sweet version of pumpkin. Well, my pumpkin pie it's it's got sweetener in it but it's not that sweet i rely on my clove and my cinnamon to give yeah. the taste because i don't like an overly sweet pie hi sarah hey, sarah. hey james money money but you know i love fruit pies of course most fruit pies but i hate cherry pie and i hate peach pie well i just love pie <laughs> and i love a pumpkin pie now something that my dad ate when two things he ate when i was a kid that i don't like at all and i love both the things that go in them i just don't like them is a sugar pie no and a peanut butter pie no, I eat peanut butter too pie. Too sweet. Too sweet. Um, now, the one thing that I really, people love, but I think it would just be too sweet for me. And see, I don't eat mincemeat pie because to me it's too sweet. Right. It's, I don't think I'd eat shoe fly pie because it's too sweet. Now, I've had shoe fly pie and I like it. But I'm not big on pecan pie. Hi, hey, Miss Pat. So, Crystal makes pumpkin cake. I make pumpkin pie and pumpkin muffins. Pumpkin bread. You know, I just make pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin bread, pumpkin pancakes. So Love many pumpkin. things. Love pumpkin. Oh, yes. Can't wait for fall for pumpkin. My kitty stares out the window and looks at birds and squirrels. And sometimes a bear. Yeah, but the bear doesn't normally go out back. Right. Out, out 
the, out here bears out there that way. Well, last night in the middle of all that rain, Landon and Amy, my next door neighbors, let Ralph and Fiona out. They're pups. Well, Ralph and Ab or Ralph and Dancer could be twins. Ralph starts barking and Dancer's at the door howling at him. Like, let me out. My buddy's out. Oh, hi, Julie. Hey, Julie. Well, you let me know when you're ready and I will start doing a chain. Well, I'm ready now. All right. So what we're making is a dish towel with the Suzette stitch. And we're making my dish towel because my dish towel isn't as big as everybody else's. And it's not necessarily a square. It's made to fit my hand. It is. I have small hands. But you can make it any size you want. We're going to be using the Suzette stitch, and we're going to teach you how to do that. And I want to give credit where credit is due. Susan Moroni is the person who taught me the Suzette stitch. And I absolutely love it. So what you want to start out with is your cotton and your hook that goes with it. Now, I do want to tell you that my cotton calls for a five and a half, you know, 5.5 millimeter hook. I use a five. And that's my choice because I want a tighter weave. I don't want a lot of holes in my dishcloth. And this is, it's not actually a dishcloth, it's a drying mat. But this will give you an idea of what I mean. You know, you can't see a lot of holes in that. You can see some, but not a lot. So I like that tight weave. So what you want to do, and Froggy's going to do it first, you want to chain an odd number of stitches and then chain one or basically chain an even number of stitches the length that you want. Now you're going to do 34? I'm going to chain 34, but first I'm going to make my slip knot. Right. Right. So I always wrap mine around my finger and pull it through and I make a slip knot. Now I make mine just a little bit different and it's not a big deal. I wrap it twice around my finger and nope. I pull the top over the bottom. I mean the back one over the front one and then the front one over the back one and make a slip knot. But I'm going to go ahead and chain 34. There we go. So, so if y'all want to chain two, an even number, three, four, five. Oh, helps to pull the yarn out, doesn't it? It does. Oh, I'm using sugar and cream. And while she's chaining, I am using, I love this cotton, in the color woods. I want to count one, one, two. And um, I'm using, I love this cotton because it's what I grabbed. I prefer dishy, but it was down lower. And this is the color I'm using. So it's like a... A crew and it's got specks of green and brown in it. Okay, I have thirty four chains. Okay, so and you're, you know, your chain it'll be as long as you want it. Yep. Now I'm gonna pull mine down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Yep. Let's see where I'm at. Can you and see me, guys? I am gonna make Michelle bigger than me. Okay. So what you're going to do? There you go. 
is you're gonna skip that first stitch come in the camera you're not in the camera honey but you're gonna go into the second stitch which when you do an odd number and then chain one it is that last stitch you made you're gonna make a single crochet okay and then you're going to make a double crochet right in that same stitch come forward towards yourself a hair there you go okay so make your double crochet then you're going to skip the next stitch and go into the second stitch make a single crochet then make a double and that is the pattern you're going to repeat until you get to the last stitch okay so you're going to skip a chain then you're going to make a single and then a double okay i'm going to pull this out a little bit <coughs> skip the next stitch go into that you know stitch after that make a single and a double now i'm going to continue to do this until i get to that next to the last stitch or that last stitch actually so while i'm doing that if you want to talk about anything go ahead <laughs> okay here's what i'll do oh gotta get my mouse to work on it here we go let's do this all right so you go in the stitch hi mel you pull up a loop and then you pull through both loops yarn over go in the stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two pull through two skip a stitch go in the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over go in the same stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and pull through two and we're going to do that one more time we're going to skip one stitch we're going to go in the next stitch we're going to yarn over we're going to pull through two we're going to yarn over we're going to go through the same stitch we're going to yarn over and pull up a loop we're going to yarn over and pull through two yarn over and pull through two and we're going to repeat that all the way across that's what we're going to do and so i'm getting there let's do that now i will say this I know that there are some people who are very, very speedy, and that is great. But I would rather not be speedy, and I would rather have good tension than to rush through it. Yes, it's and better the way to, to have good tension is to be even. It is much not be better. speedy. It's much better to take your time and have good tension than to be a very fast crocheter and have no tension at all. Now, kudos to the people like Dana who can go fast and have great tension. Yes. Kudos to them, but that's not me. It's, it's better to do that slowly than to go fast and have erratic tension. You don't want to have very erratic tension. Not at all. So you will notice that it does take me a little bit longer to get there. But we are doing this so that we have good tension. Right. And I'm getting there. Yeah, I'm almost at the end. I'm not. <laughs> That's okay. Because it's better to go slow and have good tension than to be Speedy Gonzalez and have bad or erratic tension. Well, and I'm also very careful about counting my stitches because I do tend to 
crochet a little tight so I want to make sure I'm going into the right stitch and that is correct Dodo it is a hobby it's not a race yes and some people make it a race and it's not and for me this is just something to relax at and remember I'm having to feel my way through this now reason bark but remember don't go to the last stitch yet so I'm going till I get to two stitches left and that's so, where I'm at I'm almost there one moment let me get there now I have let me get it up here so you can see I have two stitches left so what you're going to do on your very last stitch you're going to skip one you're going to go into the last stitch and you're going to make a single crochet only chain one and turn your work and you should have something that looks like this so then in the very last stitch we go in the last stitch we pull up a loop we yarn over and pull through two yep That's and then put your single in then put your double in and in the very first stitch and you have to make sure you're right in you know, your very first stitch is that very last stitch and then you're just going to repeat skipping one and then putting in a single and a double and when you get to the very end put in a single so what we're going to do is your singles and doubles are going into the single crochets of the previous row right Oh, no, we know that, Diane. It's okay. You diamond paint. Oh, no, that's fine, Diane. Because you can always come back if you ever want to do this stitch. If you don't know it, you can come back and watch us again. But if you do know it, great. Oh, Lorna, you can drop any link you want to. You are my best mod. Lorna, you put in whatever you want to, honey. So, and you know, once you start, it's easy to see where you're going to put it in because you're going to put it in the singles of the stitches. Yes. So you go into the single crochets, you pull up a loop, you yarn over and pull through two, yarn over, go back in the same stitch, yarn it, yarn over, and there you go. And yes, absolutely, Diane absolutely and i'm going to focus on michelle again because michelle does this so much better than i do okay well hold on here oh i see why so we're focusing on michelle yes i did teach that stitch and i hope you guys can see because i can't <laughs> so just going in to the top of that single crochet pulling up a loop and going through two now i'm going to yarn over go right back into that stitch pull up a loop go through two go through two you know so i'm just making a single and then a double into each the top of each single crochet Whoops. And like I said, once you get your rhythm going, you can tell exactly where that stitch is going to go. And, you know, you can see it. It's as plain as day where that single crochet is. That's what makes this very easy to do. And the thing I like about it is that by putting a single and a double in one stitch and then skipping one, you wind up with a little bit tighter weave than normal because it spreads out. But you also wind up with a textured dishcloth that's great for scrubbing things. So 
And this also will make a great face cloth or that you can use to exfoliate your skin. Yes. So it's a great thing too there. So I'm still doing my, my single and my double and skipping that stitch. Now, does anybody know why at the end we chain one and turn instead of chaining um, two or three? And this is a general question. Why we do that? Because I do it on everything I make. And I'm almost down there at the end. And then I can say why we do it when I get down there. Yeah, I am going a lot slower than you. <laughs> well, I, I make these all the time. So, And now I'm at the end of my row, so I'm going to put my I'm almost there. hook in there and just do a, a single. And, you know, traditionally, they tell you if you're going to do, if you're doing a double crochet to chain three in turn, if you're doing a single crochet to chain two in turn. Never do that because what happens is that on your edges, you get these big holes and you also get a weave that's not straight. If you instead, regardless of the stitch you're making in that first hole, just chain one and turn and then immediately go right back into that hole and make your first stitch you will have even edges all the way up and you won't have big gaps. And I learned that trick from Tony at TL Yarncraft. Which is awesome. So, well, that's where I'm at now. And when you're done, you make it as big as you want. I generally, now this one is bigger than I normally make, okay? And I'm going to pull my camera up a little bit so you can see this. Yeah. This is bigger than I normally make. And it's been folded and it's wet right now. So forgive me. But you can see my edges are straight. And I make my last row. And then I do a single crochet um, chain. I chain nine or ten. And tie it off so that I have a hoop that I can hook onto something. Okay. Love your politics as usual. Love your politics. Normally, I make a dishcloth so my hand fits it. I don't normally make it any bigger than that. So my dishcloths usually are six and a half inches by seven and a half inches. But you make it as big as you want. And if you want them to be square, make them square. Yes. That's the one thing that's great about this is you can make it any size you want. And the one that I showed you earlier that's hot pink and gray, that's actually going to be a drying mat. This stitch is fantastic for a drying mat, too, because it will soak up all the water when you put dishes on it and it is a tight weave oh yes very much a tight weave <laughs> so well we can sit here and we can continue to to crochet while we talk but that's your tutorial is that you just continue to do that till you get the length and the width you want chain nine or ten to make a loop Tie it off, weave in your ends, and you're done. Yeah. Hi, Chandler. Hey, and it's an unappreciated dishcloth. And you just keep on going. And I love the way the pattern it makes, especially when you use a yarn like Froggy's got. And like I had up here. I love the pattern this thing makes. 
And that's the Suzette Stitch. So do you all have any questions? This is a good time for questions. Yes. And, you know, if you need us to show you something again, let me know. And I'll keep on going. So I would love to hear any questions that you may have. Now, I actually have mine up so that I can see you guys. And, yeah, it makes a great baby blanket, too. Oh, yeah. I'll turn mine up in a moment. But I just Absolutely would love Absolutely right. Well, Diane is making a baby blanket with the Suzette stitch. Oh, I bet that's beautiful, Diane. And it's perfect for it. And I think it'll also make really good burp cloths for a baby. Oh, gosh, yeah. So Candy's going to have to buy some yarn to make some. <laughs> That's funny. I love them. Now, this is a little bigger than normal, but I'm not making a dishcloth. I'm making a dish towel. Yes. And it's the same stitch for a dish towel. You know, just do your decreases as you would, especially if you're making one to hang. And if you need to change your stitch when you get up to the top to make the um, part that's going to hook over a bar, just change it. Oh, yes. You have a oh, blessed welcome, weekend, Helen. Helen. Have a great day. And have a, a blessed week. weekend. Absolutely. I could actually come. Here we go. I love it when it comes across and says it's potential spam. Yeah, I love when mine does that and I just ignore it. I'm like, spam, forget it. No, I don't, don't do care. spam. I don't do spam. Not at all. So, what does everyone think of this? And will they try this? And do they have any questions about it? Oh, I'm sorry you're half asleep, Lorna. And you know, the thing of it uh -huh. is, is that I've had people offer me actually quite a good chunk of money to make them dishcloths like this. Oh, I get begged for my dishcloths. <laughs> That's the truth. Now, I'm one, not, not lying. but one thing that Froggy does is that she adds scrubby. some um, scrubby to it. I do. I add scrubby yarn to the top of mine to the last uh, three rows. Um, this is called the Suzette Stitch, Angela. Angela, what I'm doing is I'm going into the single crochet of the row before and I am single crocheting and double crocheting in that stitch. And then I'm skipping this stitch and I'm going in and skip a stitch, single crochet, double crochet, skip a stitch, single and double. That's all I'm doing. And your last stitch in the row at the very end is a single. Uh, it doesn't always work, Sarah. I wish. Yeah, they don't remove it. You know, I've told them over and over and over again. Sorry if that made you sick, Lorna. And, you know, I'm on the National Do Not Call Registry, and they still call. Yeah, I am, too. And they still call me. Oh, honey, you wouldn't have to. That's true. And my husband's grandmother always asks me for dishcloths. 
Now, well, I do want to say, don't be alarmed if it does this kind of thing when you start out. You see, it's like that. Yeah. Because as you get the weight on it, it will go like this. It'll go straight back up. It will go straight. It's just that it's not big enough to go straight yet. Oh, they still call me, Sarah. Oh, they do. They still call. Well, I pretend I don't speak English. You know, I do all kinds of things. I'll set down the phone and let them talk to the TV. It's done in each single crochet. When you start out candy in your chain, it's a single and a double in the first stitch, then skip a stitch, then a single and a double, and you go all the way down to the last stitch. And that is a single chain one and turn. And then you do a single and a double in each single crochet and you skip the double crochet. And your last stitch is always a single crochet. Yes. But, you know, since I do all these dish cows and y'all know about it and it's our inside joke, we thought we'd show you how I make my dishcloths. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, okay, Candy. Okay. Yes, we had to show you how we make the dishcloths because it's just such a funny thing, you know, with Michelle and her unappreciated dishcloths. So we had to show you. We thought it was funny. And the joke comes from my children. They just don't appreciate those dishcloths. No, they don't appreciate them. But my husband loves them. Yes. Here we go. And, you know, the stitch would be worth so much for so many things. Well, we used to call, we used to answer city morgue. You stab them, we slab them. You ice them, we, or you dice them, we ice them. You kill them, we kill them. Which is funny. Or Bishop's Full Hall, eight ball speaking. Yeah. You do that all the time. And uh, let's see. Oh, I used to answer the phone, um, some kind of pizzeria. Mm hmm. It's for pickup or delivery. And this will also, especially with the cotton, will also make a really good um, pad for you to lay down to lay your baby on. If anybody has a baby, you don't want to put them on. Um, something that's uh you know like in a public restroom so you can make a pad out of this and lay it down oh gosh oh yes 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 they make great burp cloths they make wonderful pads to lay the baby on to change diapers they are perfect for hot pads they're absolutely i'm using a 5.5 with the sugar and cream cotton and i'm using a five with i love this cotton and and susan i'm sorry you missed the beginning i use a five or a yeah five instead of a five and a half so i get a tighter weave and it gives me the definition that i want so that's why i go down a half a hook size now i would not go down a whole hook size just no. a half a hook size and that's no. just me if you find that you crochet tight enough as it is then i would go ahead and use whatever um the cotton calls for yeah i would use what the cotton cost for you know that's just me mm -hmm. 
but I just know me. I know how I crochet. So that's why I go with the smaller hook size. They make really good hot pads. Yeah, they do. Or drying mats for your dishes. I mean, they're, they, they really do. They're excellent for that. Make it large enough and put some puff paint on the bottom of it. You've got a floor mat. Yes. And I'll tell you something else to do is to take two of them. Make them the size where your, um, if you have a cold pack, will fit into it. Yes. And sew that up. And you can put your cold pack in the freezer. Freeze it. Put it in there. You know, put it in the thing and then put that on you. Instead of having that plastic on you, because most cold packs are plastic, you have that cotton against your skin. Yeah, it makes a nice sleeve for the cold pack. It does. So it's something to definitely use. And in a pinch, they're great pot holders. Oh, yes. Because they're thick and you don't burn yourself. Well, that's what we use for pot holders here. Yeah. I you mean, know, that, and you could take two of them, sew them together, and make even a better thickness. Oh, yes. Well, the hubby just folds them in half and uses it as a pot holder. Mm -hmm. and, and he'll you, lay one down on the counter to put the hot pan on. Right, and I'll do that. I actually make pads for that with the cotton a lot. But if you put two together, you could put... um uh batting in between them and it have it insulated do not use polyester batting use oh no batting. you can't use polyester batting just like you can't use acrylic thread you have no, to use to cotton now you can use 85 percent cotton um you don't have to cloth. use 100 percent cotton for a dish cloth but if you are going to make hot pads you really need to try to use 100% cotton. Yes, because the polyester will melt. Right. So you have to be careful with that. Be very careful. And, you know, a lot of the, you can get 100% cotton relatively cheap. Yes. It, it, it helps with the pattern. You skip a stitch because if you put a single and a double into each stitch, okay, you're going to wind up with something that's going to go like this. It's going to fan out because you've got, it's too many stitches in one hole. You need to skip a stitch because you've got two stitches, two stitches in one stitch. Yeah. Yeah, you're putting two stitches in the single crochet, so you need to skip the double crochet so that you're lined up correctly and you and don't do that. Even. So that's why you skip it. It's and, great. you know, it's the same reason why you only put a single in the end is because if you put a single and a double in the end, you're going to wind up going like this because it's going to be too big. And you know, it's something fun to do. And sometimes if you show people that you can make something that's uh, hey, well, uh, practical. You have an easier time convincing them that you need to buy more yarn. Well, yeah. Hi, Brandon. I hope you're doing Thanks, good. Brandon. Today. Yeah, it would make more sense. Yes. And you don't have to worry about that. Although I can say my husband has never complained about any yarn I've bought. No. I've been very fortunate about that. 
No, mine can be an enabler at times. It's only about me and Michelle today. Isn't that terrible? Michelle is my co-host. Hi, Brandon. And we were teaching them how to make a dishcloth, Brandon. Today we're doing a tutorial. Now, do you guys have any other questions? And the other thing we'd like to know is what other... Is there another stitch you would like to see a tutorial on or another, um, what I want to say, way of doing things? You know, for instance, I showed Diane one night how to do a um, magic knot. Now, if you ask to how to do a Russian join, I'm going to send you to Charday Crochet because she does them and I don't. Mm -hmm. But I can do a magic knot. I can do the um, magic loop. We can always find out, is there a stitch you want to know how to make? Stitch maybe you're having trouble with and we can figure it out together. Yeah, we're willing so, to work with you. Do you want to show us a stitch you know? That's fine too. Yeah, we're willing Yes. I would love somebody to come up and say, this is a stitch I use all the time and show us how to do it. Absolutely. But you tell us what you want to see next and we will do that. We have no problem with that. We are more than willing. That sounds fun, Brandon. I cuddle up with the animal, too. Wilson is his beagle. I and know. His cute little beagle. Adorable. And I had to check to make sure Wilson didn't have more followers on Instagram than me. I would have been super jealous. Don't be jealous of the puppy. I would have been jealous of the puppy. Yes. The florid stitch. stitch. Oh, I've never tried that. I have heard of it. And Do it's you ever awesome. Try it? Have I? Yeah. Um, trying to think of the year. <laughs> a long time ago? In a kingdom far, far away? Um, before I learned to knit. So pre 2005. Well, Sarah, I would love to see you do that stitch. Sarah, are you available on Sunday afternoon? Now, I'm interested. What is Fiber Spider's 3D stitch like? Because Bag of Day has a 3D stitch, too. And I would like to see how they're different. They're similar. Yeah, are they dissimilar or are they different? <clears throat> I would love to see that. She said will, she should be. Please email her. I will email her. Because and Fiber Spider does a Bavarian stitch that I love too. Yes. I will email you to coordinate the day. Oh, no problem. You have a wonderful, blessed weekend. See Sparkle. you on Sunday, Pat. Absolutely. You be blessed. But Diane, if you're still here, do you have a stitch you want to show us? Because believe me, there's a lot of stitches that I've seen, but I've never done. Oh, I adore Diane. Oh, I love Diane. I mean, I've never done a basket weave. I've never done the broomstick. And there's so many I've never done. I have that blanket I've been working on for the basket no, weave. No. Hi, I Gina. Gia is so awesome. Every time I go to Gia's store, I fill my cart up and I never have enough money. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. And I'm always like, I can't spend that much money. Oh, you are more than welcome, Diane. More than welcome. Oh, we love you, Diane. And when you get the 
um, blanket, John, I would love to see it. I could never narrow it down below a hundred dollars at Gia's ever. This is that terrible. I just I would like to try some Picasso yarn. I have Picasso. But I want all the colors of the Picasso. Well, yeah. And, and you know, that's terrible. Just like I want all the colors of Dishy. We need to drop Gia's store. We need to drop Gia's link. Oh, we we need to drop everything for Gia because Gia well, is hold on. amazing. I'm trying. Because we love Gia. Control C. Hey, Dana. Turn nut. N U T. We love our Dana. There you go. Hey, Dana. And I just dropped Yarn Nuts link. Please go over and check her out. Dana, did I summon you? I mentioned your name earlier. We summoned Dana. I, I said that, you know, you don't, it's not a, you know, like somebody said in the chat, it's not a race. I would rather be make sure that my tension is good than to be fast and then i said but although dana is fast and has great tension <laughs> yes dana is I fast but summoned dana you, dana. i will say that dana is fast and maintains tension mm -hmm. yes oh you don't oh you oh no oh no. my address is <laughs> oh my gosh, no. No, 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 no. Oh. I have to tell you, that's our. I'm going to fall out of the chair. Yeah, that's our joke, Yarna, is that when Froggy says something about her yarn, I say, My address is. <laughs> oh, I'm going to fall out of the chair. I got to hold on. Hang on. Mm. Oh my and gosh. you're welcome. I'll drop your link anytime. Oh, gee, I love you so much. Now, can I come and see you? We live in the same state. At least I think we live in the same state. <laughs> I could I be wrong. You. Oh, she's wait. Is she in North Carolina? I don't know. I no, maybe she's in no, maybe she's in Wisconsin. But somebody's in North Carolina. I can't think of who it is besides Granny and David. If Gia was in North Carolina, I would be in there nagging a hubby to drive me down there. <laughs> she's in Wisconsin. She, she is in Wisconsin. Well, we can go to Wisconsin and see you. Well, she got lucky because I would—I was getting ready to go in there to tell hubby we were going to North Carolina today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see that. I'd like to see Joey's face when you said that. He'd be like, what? <laughs> I'd be like, we're going to see uh, your nut. <laughs> Somebody is here besides Granny and, and David. I can't remember who it is. Now, somebody well, I Gwen follow in Cross Stitch is in North Carolina. Uh, Gwanny Square, David, Granny D. Oh, Granny. Who's the other one? Gwanny, G W A N N Y. Gwanny yeah. Square. Well, I don't know her. I do. Okay, but there's somebody else. Somebody I know, and I can't think who it is. Oh, you're, not, you're too awesome. Oh, my oh. gosh. Well, Sarah, if Froggy fell out the chair after I quit laughing, I would help her up. She got tears in my eyes there. I'm like shaking. You're welcome, like, Susan. Oh my gosh. Yeah, on our way to West, let's come see you. We're, we're picking you up. We're picking you up. You're going with us. And Gia's like, oh, they're not coming to Wisconsin. Watch us. Well, we might have to go pick up Dana and then go pick up Candy and go see your nut. Yes. Oh, Dana made a mug rug pattern with this stitch. Cool. Oh, that's wonderful. So here's 
my stitch. I stuck it over here somewhere. Oh, there we go. I did. I should have wore a, a dark shirt, so. Mm. I like the way it color pulls. I do, too. And I really love this one. I like that one. I do. And this is with dishy. dishy cotton, and it doesn't fade. I know mine will fade, but I do yeah, like this. This does not fade. I love it. Gosh, I still can't believe she told me to email her. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. I, I still can't believe that. I'm still overwhelmed. <laughs> and you guys, if you don't have um, creatively created crochet, triple C, go check her out. And um, you give me a minute, and I'm going to drop her. Yeah, drop Dana. Drop her link. So give me a second here. Yes, it is very time. See her. She and her husband, Joe, are just fantastic. They are. He does a lot of stuff. He knows how to crochet. He does diamond painting. Mm -hmm. And they're both youth pastors, too. So their time is... they. Do a lot in the little time they have. I'll show you, Dana. I used what I had left over. I used sugar and cream, and let's see if I'll get the colorway name to come in. Come on, camera. Oop. There you go. There's triple C. And coral sees ombre, and that's the colors. Now, I do know that Dishy has something similar to that. Yes. And I really love Dishy. It's actually, you get the most bang for your buck with Dishy. Yeah, Dishy's much cheaper. Because if but, you look at it, Dishy has twice the amount of yarn as the other, um, what do I want to say they are, uh, other brands. I'm just using what I already had. Lorna Love. Thank you, my darling. Cool. My Lorna. This is for Lorna. As soon as I can find it. <laughs> this is for Lorna. Love you, Lorna. Froggy dance, froggy dance, super chat, super chat, froggy dance, froggy dance, super chat, super chat. I got a super chat, froggy dance, froggy dance. I got a super chat, froggy dance, froggy dance. Thank you, Lorna. <laughs> no, I'm sitting here going, I got a super chat. Froggy dance, froggy dance. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lorna. You're too sweet. And Lorna, drop your video again. Thank you so much. I wish I was there at the live. Mm. I'd have been all up in there. <laughs> <laughs> but I did watch the live. I did watch it. And you guys... You got to see Dana's earrings, too. She crochets earrings. They're beautiful. She had a pair of beautiful pair of blue ones that she was showing last night. They're Check it out. Check out Yarn Nut. Check out everything. YarnNut.com. Yes. Absolutely. And Dana's model is gorgeous. And she's going to college. Who are you going to use as a model? That's what I want to know. Who's cool. going to model for Dana? Oh, my. Oh, she's working along with us. Hey, Miss Bevy. <laughs> Hi, Bevy. No problem, Dana. I just want to know who's going to be your model when Elijah goes to school. I do. Because, oh my goodness, her mom, oh, she's so gorgeous. Well, we have everything set for Jeremy to return back to school for his senior year. Yes. So I'm very happy about that. You're going to miss him. I'm going to miss him, but he's only an hour and a half away. I know. But you and still I miss like him. going to Raleigh. You still miss him, though. For those of you who don't know, my son is a senior at North Carolina State University. You do. You miss your kids. I miss my kids. 
I'm not shocked, Lorna. I think it's perfect. But why should it be removed? You just told the truth. You told the truth. You do what you can, you know. That's all you can do. And I support you 100%, Lorna. Lorna is amazing. Yes, she is. Wonderful. Yep. Now I want to make a bunch of dishcloths for Lorna. <laughs> yeah. We'll send them all together. I am. Putting them in this box over here. Mm -hmm. Lorna's like, what box? Oh, yes. I have a box of stuff I'm putting together for you, Lorna. Because we were sneaky and did something. I have a bunch of stuff I'm putting together for you, Lorna. In a box. For you. And I keep adding to it. Lorna, don't play. Woohoo! Lorna, don't play. <laughs> Lorna be spanking them. <laughs> yes, Lorna. Lorna yes, Lorna. has a box. I have a box. And I keep filling it with goodies for my Lorna. You might get like a frog and a cow in it. You never know. Oh, might be just a frog and a cow. Could be. That's okay. I sent her two frogs in a box. She did. She also sent me. Hang on. Gotta put them on. Hang on. I gotta get the other one. She sent me that. Wait a minute, and here it comes. Waka 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 waka. Oh. <laughs> oh. They're love, finger puppets. <laughs> I love the little boards on the front. And the cow. I do. And yes, Lorna, I have a box I've been filling up with things for you. I'm looking for one thing in particular to put in it before I send it. A puppy? A puppy. Why do I'm I not believe for one that? thing in particular to put in it. Once I find that one thing, I'm going to ship it. But I haven't found it. Hopefully it's not a puppy. <laughs> oh, now I got to find a frog and a cow, too. Right. <laughs> so I got to find three things to put in it. Well, I found her two frogs. Um with fishing poles and they're right so you know that froggy went a fishing he did go uh-huh they're right there on top of my sewing machine literally Let's see if you can it's kind of hard to see it is hard to see them but that's where they are Let's see if this helps wait they're there right there they're on my sewing machine. Yeah, that's where they sit. On my sewing machine. Hi, hey, Melissa. Lisa. How are you? But I really am, Lorna. I really do. I got everything all nice and wrapped up in the box. And no, I can't pull it out and show you. Because I already wrapped it up. Because I have something for Lorna. But now I'm going to put dishcloths in there, too. <laughs> I'm doing fantastic, Melissa. How are you doing? Doing can you, good. Can you drop Melissa's link, too? Yeah, if you give me just a second. I'll give you time. I know you're over there crocheting. Melissa is awesome. At least I'm not working. That's true. You'll be working after the live, though. <laughs> no, actually, I'm not. Oh, I can't believe it. I don't have anything to do until tomorrow. Oh, give it time. Melissa crochets with love. You're welcome, Tina. There you go. You are so welcome, Melissa. And, and you are welcome too, Miss Tina. Oh, <laughs> yes, Dana. 
There you go, Dana. <laughs> Dana, I have sugar and cream. And this is in, I'll get the camera to say it. There we go. If it'll do it. This is in Coral Seas Ombre. There you go. There it is. And I used, I love this cotton in wood. That's what it's called. And it's um, like an acre color with flecks of green and brown in it. I like it. And um, the other one that I showed with the dishy, that I showed the completed one, this is in dishy multi. And that's just what it's called, multi. And so it's got all different colors on it. And I really like dishy because it does not fade. Now, I do not recommend this sugar and cream. It will fade and it'll shrink. shrink and it'll also get these funny fuzzy things on it. So if you look at the dishy, they actually, which is at We Crochet, they actually have a color just like this Coral Sea Zombre. And instead of 90 to 109 yards, you get 196 yards in a skein of dishy. So it's twice as much and we figured it out and it's just under a penny a yard for yeah. dishy, not on sale. If you catch it on sale, it's even cheaper. Hi, Carla. We are so, doing the Suzette stitch. Hi, Carla. So if you ever want to um, check out the dishy, we did wait a cotton picking minute it's fat tuesday we discussed the cotton in that and we do you can do whatever how many ever rows you want i do it to fit my hand because i have a small hand and that one with the one i keep showing with the color is actually bigger than i normally use because I needed it as a prop. But if you give me a minute, I'll show you mine. I do whatever fits my hand. This is going to be a dish towel. So it's going to use the whole, the, almost the entire skein. So I'll just do it until the yarn's gone. This is what fits, literally fits my hand. Yep. And it's six and a half inches by seven and a half inches. And then I do do a, you know, loop to so I can hang it. And it's one, two, three, four, five. Thirteen rows. So it's and, not you know, I just make it to fit my hand. But you, if you want... Because some people like them to be 11 by 11. Nothing wrong with that or 12 by 12. Just make it however you want. You know, however long you want it. But I just make it for my hand. And this was made with just scrap yarn. As yeah. you can see, I ran out of the green. So I just used the white. Yeah, I'm all about just, you know, scrap yarn or using. I'm just using up cotton that I've had. Mm-hmm. And Melissa, Susan Moroni is the person who showed me the Suzette stitch. I absolutely love it. It is fantastic for dishcloths, dish towels, hand towels, washcloths, um, drying mats, diaper pads, uh, burp cloths. And um, Diane Sharp is even using it to make a blanket. And it's gorgeous. And, yeah, I just love them, too. I absolutely love learning about new stitches. But it's so simple. All you need to do is be able to chain and then single crochet and double crochet. That's it. And it makes such a good weave, you know, with the stitches coming together so well that it makes such a good dishcloth or, you know, pot holder. Yeah, and it's, it's very... It's 
it's got the definition in it and it's got the it, the texture in it without being over texturized oh yeah it would make a great placemat oh yeah fantastic placemat i make my dish towels and my dishcloths out of it and drying mats mm -hmm. I, I that's what i do and it comes out beautifully And I've got so many of them. And my husband's grandmother is constantly begging me for them. And, of course, I have a daughter that wants them all the time. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I, I'm, I'm making them all the time. <laughs> I love them. And, it, and I will make my dishcloths until I get to the last three rows. And then I switch over to scrubby yarn. And then I will just do plain double crochet of three rows of scrubby yarn. And that's it. Nice. And that'll oh, you it. Take care, Dodo. Thank you oh, for coming. Take care. And you're welcome. Now, I, I don't do the scrubby yarn because I don't like working with the scrubby yarn you need to use. And... I use a different scrubby yarn and it's a, it's a size six. So it really doesn't fit, but I love making scrubbies with this yarn. It's the scrub it scrubology that you get from, um, or the scrubology scrub it. Yeah. From Hobby Lobby. It is a tube yarn that's got things in it so you can scrub with it and when you crochet with it that's what it looks like just a tube yarn but when you crochet with it it kind of hoops up and i like that because it protects your hands when you have your hand in the scrubby and it doesn't hurt to work with it right and i'll show you what they look like that doesn't hurt to work with it but i have some scrubby that I don't like, but I can do three rows of it on the end of the dishcloth. Right. This is what it will look like when you're done. You see how it kind of hoops up? Now, if you do it loose, it won't hoop up like that. But I like that because when I put my hands in it and I scrub, my hands are, my fingers are protected. And it's got a nice finish on it you you probably well yeah you can see it you see the glitter yep. kind of thing that's yep. the scrubby stuff and i love it absolutely love it and that comes from hobby lobby now if you're going to use the scrubby yarn like like what jennifer's using in hers my suggestion is to not necessarily use red heart because that tears my hands up like you wouldn't believe well the mary but maxim use, is cotton so use that's that. what i say use the mary maxim cotton it works really well and it scrubs well yeah i use the mary well i'm using up what i have and um i don't mind the scrubby sparkle that doesn't hurt mm -hmm. And the Mary Maxim cotton's fantastic. Right. But, I mean, I don't like the regular scrubby because it hurts. Yeah, I do know that Hobby Lobby does have a scrubby that is similar to Red Heart, but it doesn't kill your hands. Right. Yeah, oh, I love the wonderful. bottle along. Yes, I'm dropping the information on the bottle along. I think it's a fantastic idea. It helps out Crystal. And I love that. And I made her um, 3D scarf. It is gorgeous. Especially if you use a sparkle yarn. It is beautiful. Yes. And I plan on making one. Yes. And I've made many of her hats. I just love watching her crochet. I do. I, I, think, it's, it. I think it's fun. I think it's going to be a wonderful thing to do this bottle on. Mm -hmm. I, know. I love the idea of it. 
But see, I like to watch so many people crochet because, like Dana said, she never thought of adding the um, scrubby Scrubby. yarn to the end. Well, you know, Froggy never thought of making a hat out of sock yarn with two strands held together. No. You know, I... When I did it, I was like, I, I, this, I always say, I was dumb enough n- to not know that you weren't supposed to make a hat with sock yarn. So I just held two together and made it, and it was gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And I'm like, ooh, this is nice. So it, I love to watch other people experiment. I love watching Dana take yarn and make earrings out of it. Love it. I love to watch Pivy take yarn and make this beautiful amigurumi of Ezra. It was great. Oh, it's fantastic. I just love it. You get tips from everybody. Mm-hmm. And I love that. You know, you can glean something from everyone. You don't, you know, not just, you don't just stick with one person, but you glean some, a little bit of something from everybody. And I love that. Yeah. If it wasn't for the secret yarnery, I wouldn't know about clover hooks. Yeah. So it makes a big difference. And I'm glad that we can help out and hopefully, you know, somebody will learn something, you know. I just love it. You know, and I wanted to use up the scrubby that I had. So I was like, well, let me put it on the end of a dishcloth. I won't be using much of it. And there you go. Now well, I'm using it up. How many of you guys have made a huge granny square and it kind of goes wonky, kind of goes like this? Mama J Way told me, well, make your first row like you do. And then instead of, or join it together, and instead of starting your second row and just going around the same direction, flip your granny square and make it the other way. Yeah. So you keep flipping your granny square, and what do you get? A square. Yeah. Instead of something that's going like this. Instead of getting a like, wonky Wow, one. I never thought of that. It makes but a it's difference. fantastic. I love it. I'm like, oh, tell me more. Tell me more. Yes. So we watch all the different channels because we learn so much. Oh, thank you, Melissa. That's oh, cool. You are wonderful, Melissa. I learned from all of you. Oh, and I do too. That's how I get inspired. Yeah, you ever, I'm, I'm glad you ever hear me say, hmm. That means you taught me something. <laughs> I'm glad that she's inspired to start her channel. Because there's me room too. for everyone. And me I love too. that. That makes me feel really good that you started a channel. It does. You are amazing, Melissa. You are. I do. I do, Dana. I learn from everyone. Me too. I do. And I love to be inspired by all of you. You guys keep me company. You know, you inspire me. You help me to keep on going every day. You know, I, it, it just, it brings me joy. And the two things I know I can teach you guys is how to make a dishcloth and a mean cup of coffee. Yes. Yes, this is my, y'all bring me my joy, and I love it. Hi, Ivis. Welcome Hi, in, Ivis. Ivis. It's wonderful to see you. But you guys do, you bring me my joy. And I love that. Oh, I've met so many friends on here. My goodness. I mean, I got my co-host on here. <laughs> I don't know what i do without my co-host. And that's the truth. I mean, my lives would be horrible without my co-hosts. Nah, I don't think so. Well, I would. I miss a lot of the chat, so. I know, but I don't think it would be horrible. You know, missing a lot of the chat would be a real problem. We all know that. 
We do, just sit in the back and throw popcorn at you. That's true. But I do miss a lot of the chat. And yes, if you haven't noticed already, I have a quick wit that often gets me in trouble. But I don't mind. I love her quick wit. But I do miss a lot of the chat. And I don't mean to. You know, it, it just happens. But I am going back to the doctor, so we'll find out. I'm going to find out why I'm missing more of the chat lately. But it's it's probably just normal progression. And it could be. Which is okay. Hey, yeah. Stokers. What's up? Oh, hi, Tyler. Welcome in. I didn't even see Tyler. He just came in. <laughs> What's up? Well, yeah, you might want to get it done. The 19th is a really good day, though. The 19th of July? Yeah. What's the 19th? 20th. Twenty-four long years. Oh, I know that's your anniversary, but you can get something <laughs> done for the 19th. She said, okay, Crystalline says, you all got me distracted. I put down my blanket. Got to finish it. She's due the 19th. Oh, she's got to hurry up. Mm-hmm. So that's what it was. Oh, okay. Okay, hey, Ivis. Hitting me in my wrong spot. Yeah, Ivis needs to reset. Oh, okay, Ivis. Lagging. Oh, you're going fishing, Tyler. Now I can see that part. Yeah. Yeah, if it, if it hits me in a certain place, I don't see it, which is crazy. Right. Later. Not a problem, Tyler. You get some fishing done. Not a problem. I'm only going to go until it says 145 on the clock up there. So you got two more minutes. I got two more minutes, and then I think then we're going to do a froggy raid. Who are we going to raid? Who are we going to raid? I don't want to say it out loud. Well, we can't raid Dana because she's in here. <laughs> I know. I can't raid Dana. But I am going to raid somebody that we all know and love. Uh -huh. Well, and afterwards, I'm going to go watch Dana from this morning. Yes. <sighs> oh, I love doing a froggy raid. Mm-hmm. Why don't you ever raid my channel? I would love to raid your channel, but you got no content. I have no content on purpose. <laughs> and I'm gonna I guess I could take a do a video of the cats meowing at Craig and, and look at the top of the refrigerator. That's where their treats are. And they oh. meow at my husband and look at the top of the refrigerator and give <laughs> some treats every time. Well, I hope everybody has a blessed day. Me too. And I hope you enjoyed the art tutorial for today. And let us know if you want us to show anything else. We have no problem with that. We'll do our best that we can. And if you make a dishcloth, bring it Sunday and show it to us. Oh, we'd love to see it. You know we would. You know, if you got any questions or anything, you can email me at Froggy Win and Knitting, or you can email our my show at cowwin a crocheting at gmail.com. You have guys a have great a great day, day, everyone. Yes, and here we go. We're gonna do a froggy raid. If you can go in and you can say froggy raid, I'd greatly appreciate it. Just hit that thumbs up and say froggy raid. I'd really appreciate that. See oh, I am you soon, so, Diane. Oh, we love you, Diane. But go over and say Froggy Raid. I'd really appreciate that. We will see you again on Sunday afternoon. And God bless all of you. You guys are amazing. So have a great time, guys. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye now.